the roof, don't look at the roof, don't look at the roof. <laughs> the bad part about this is that the birds be taking some shites on this. This is my shoe box. <laughs> big cell phone guy. I'm recording for YouTube right now. <laughs> I'm gonna be a big YouTube star, Dad. Hey guys, my name is Pedram and welcome to my YouTube channel. So everybody calls me P-Dum. That's what I've kind of been known as uh, ever since high school. Little throwback to that story. My uh, old coach from high school called me plethora of names, but ended up coming down to P-Dum. There was some, some in there that I didn't really like, but P-Dum ended up being that. And uh, ever since then, everybody just kind of caught on to Pedum, and that's kind of who I've become. So, um, welcome to the Pedum channel, I guess. This, I sound like Doug DeMera right now. This is, <laughs> so this is my 1988 Honda Civic. She is my first car I ever owned. Uh, I got this car to leave about eight years ago, around my junior year of high school. Even though this was my first car, funny enough, it wasn't the first car I really drove around. My first car I really did drive around was my C230 um, Champagne. I mean, if anybody knows me from back in the day, you knew that was her name. But this is Wanda the Honda. She is quite the looker, quite the looker. Funny story on this, uh, this car completely started as a joke. This was my daily when all my BMWs were broken. So this thing was only ever taken out like all the time actually because my BMWs were always broken. Funny enough, I literally just texted the group chat one day, said, hey guys, like what color are we choosing? Like what are we doing? Kind of as like a marketing scheme and uh, everybody responded pink. I looked around, tried to find some good wraps, ended up finding a Nozatech piggy bank pink, uh, threw some wheels on it, stanced it a little bit, and then after that, I just started gaining followers, started getting a lot of people posting me, started getting a lot of people taking pictures of me at like RSF and certain events. My dad even went to the junkyard and met some random dude who actually knew who I was from this car. So. This car has kind of created a little movement for me, which realistically is the main reason why I kind of wanted to start making more content, uh, getting more involved with Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, of course. So uh, we're just going to go through a little rundown of the car and show you guys some other stuff and uh, go through a little bit more stories. Alrighty, so getting straight into the car. This car is not perfect. It is from 1988. It is quite some time since this thing was given some pure love but in the past couple years I've been trying to give it as much love as I can there are you know some scratches and as Craig pointed out the uh, the light don't fit but <laughs> it will eventually come to its perfection um, it will take me some time I have a ton of stuff planned for this car that you guys will be seeing um, in the next couple of months next couple years so for sure there's going to be a ton of stuff that I'm going to do to this so you guys stay tuned in and watch on that. But just a little rundown, we're going to start with the color again. So like I said, came with a Nozatech Piggy Bank Pink. If you guys don't know yet, I work at Revolution Auto Design. There I help manage, do sales and marketing for the company. We are a true all-in-one shop. We do a ton of stuff, everything from PPF to wrap, body kits, tent. Anything you can think of, any design, any dreams, we make it all possible. Ended up going with Piggy Bank and Ozatech. Even though I work at a rap shop, I will say it off the records, I'm not a big fan of rap. I'm not a, I'm purely paint guy. I love paint, I like the depth you get in it, but rap is a good option for some people. And in this instance, this was a great selection for me. So ended up going with a Nozatech. A Nozatech is a more paint-like based wrap. I went with Piggy Bank Pink and it's don't look at the roof. Look at the, roof. <laughs> the bad part about this is that the birds be taking some shites on this and it stains it. So that's the only bad part about this but from afar if you stand far enough you don't see it so we're good. Yeah like I said um a Nozatech great brand. I love this color. It was a joke and then now it's not so much of a joke but I think it really fits well with the car just because of that retro body style, that square like, you know, that E30 type, the square body styles. I'm gonna redo the wrap, of course. Uh, once again, the first time I did it, I wrapped it in less than a day. I just kind of did it to just do it. Uh, didn't take the fine details into consideration, but sooner or later, we're gonna be redoing this and getting all of it done uh, right and correctly. Another thing is... Wheels, suspension, wheels, brakes, and wheels. Oh. Point out how clean your oh. interior Oh, you is. guys are gonna love this one. So, the wheels are some $700 eBay Chineseum <laughs> wrapped in some uh, Mucho Mangoes. I don't know, whatever tires <laughs> I can find. <laughs> whatever tires. 
Uh, and like I said, I started this build as a joke. Like it was just something for fun, just something to do. And we are riding on $200 Max Speed. Oh, so yeah. thank you, Max Speed. Maybe you want to sponsor me, give me some nicer ones, because these are not that cool. <laughs> I will say the highlight of, oh my God, my speaker cover came off. <laughs> nice. Other than that, the highlight of this car will be the interior, 100%. I have done my best to keep this interior completely clean. Everything is completely stock OEM. There is some rippage in the seats that I will be getting taken care of and some little cracks and stuff in the dash, but those are all stuff that I will uh, eventually be changing out, um, getting repaired, getting fixed, but that is the main portion of this car is the interior has been kept as you know clean and as good as possible. Let me fix this little speaker here quick. I actually just got these speakers in about a couple days ago. They both came off, nice. <laughs> You're so, bumping too hard, dude. They are extremely loud though. I will give them that. So they're popping off because it's extremely loud. Look at me, mom, I'm making it. The upholstery is coming apart, but we will be redoing that. But like for being almost you know, 40 years old. Yeah, for being almost 40 years old, I mean, this is looking a lot better than some of your moms. So. <laughs> The rear, I love the rear of this car. I don't know what, but just the boxiness, I, I just love it. I just, I don't, I don't know what it is about it, but this is like my favorite part of the car is the rear. I went satin black with everything, all the logos and everything, bumpers as well. Um, this one ended up doing just like a matte black on this. It usually says Civic. Some guys have this specked out to where it's actually lights. Mine isn't a light. Mine's actually just body color. So that's a cool option that came with this car. Other than that, it's just your old stock Civic. I mean, nothing too crazy about it, but in the next couple of months, this thing will be crazy. So a couple of you guys already know kind of what I'm doing to it, but for the rest of you that don't know, you guys just gotta stay tuned and be able to watch and see what I'm gonna do to this. This thing will be the iconic Honda build. This is gonna be the motor everybody wants, the transmission everybody wants, everything down to the last detail of what every Honda boy dreams of. So. I guess this is uh, my 1988 Honda Civic and hope you guys enjoy. Alrighty guys, thank you for listening to me. No, I'm terrible. Alrighty guys, thanks for tuning in and watching, going over the Honda and we're gonna run it off to some cinematic videos now. <laughs> There's Craig's car in the back, just dying. <laughs> Watching my car die the last year. It has terminal cancer. <laughs> Yeah.